Hi, my name is Nathan from the Beaver Lever Company. We're putting together a series of short videos to help you learn some tips and tricks about how to use your Beaver Lever kindling cutter. I hope it's helpful to you and thanks for joining me. Okay, welcome to this episode of Beaver Lever Kindling Cutter Tips and Tricks. Um, for the first episode, I just wanted to go over the basics of the Beaver Lever Kindling Cutter what to expect when you open the box and um, some basics of how to set it up. So there isn't too much involved. There's a base, which is 18 inches by four inches. Uh, we have the uprights, which is a pair of parallel bars with notches in it. Then we have this handle nut on the side, which is used to lock the uprights in place. Also the blade has a dowel through it which is used to work your way down through the wood uh, using these notches. <clears throat> uh, the last notch is reversed just for a storage option. Uh, if you're just going to leave it in the upright position maybe by your fireplace or something. Um, one thing I just wanted to touch on is uh, if the handle nut ever becomes loose such that you can't tighten the uprights in place. You can see normally it doesn't take a whole lot of force and it's okay to have some play. You need a little bit of play in the uprights allowing for some movement as you make your cuts as long as they're able to um, be placed in the upright position securely then you're all set. Um, but sometimes people might have been um, playing with the, the bolt on the other side, or maybe it worked loose and travel. Um, but if you go to put your uprights in place and you can't lock it, there's not enough travel in this handle nut to lock it in place. And what you would do is just lay your, hand, your uprights down on the base. Also lay the handle nut flat, so they're both forward and resting on the base. And then you would just by hand, tighten this bolt back up. Um, ideally, it would be a little bit more than what you can do by hand. So you could just turn it a, an eighth or a quarter turn with a wrench or some pliers. Alternatively, you can lift the upright slightly off the base, leaving the handle nut on the base, and then tighten that bolt or that, you know, that hex bolt by hand, and when you put the, the uprights back onto the base, it will tighten the bolt. And there you go. So there's some basics about uh, just what to expect when you open it up and how to make sure your uprights lock properly in place so that it's ready for use. Thanks for tuning into this episode, and I look forward to sharing uh, some tips and tricks with you on further episodes. Have a good day.